welcome students the other day we were discussing ray diagrams the images formed by convex lens when object is kept at different positions like infinity beyond 2f1 between at 2f1 between 2f and f 2f1 and f1 at f1 now we will study today what is the nature of the image when an object is kept within the focal length of the convex lens so this is a convex lens here we have kept the object a b between o and f1 i repeat in the previous class we studied the nature of the image position of the image size of the image when the object was placed at infinity beyond 2f1 at 2f1 between 2f1 and f1 and at f1 we were left with one more case that is a object kept between f1 and o so this object ab lies between o and f1 we follow the same rules for drawing the ray diagram i take a ray starting from the object at b parallel to the principal axis by rule it will refract through f1 so this is the refracted ray for it the second diagram which we have chosen now here is it begins from the object directed towards the optic center without any deviation moves ahead so this is the next tag next ray tag these two rays are widening apart they do not meet no chance of them meeting here so what we do is we produce it backward and see the image form here the two rays produced backward will meet at this point we consider that point as b1 this point as a1 so we get the image where on the same side of the lens with respect to the object the object is here you are getting the image here so the position of the image is on the same side of the lens with respect to the object it is an erect object all other of in may erect image all other images that we got were inverted and that time we discussed that we get a real image because we could keep a screen over here and get the image on the screen over here we cannot cast it on a screen it is an erect image b b dash a a dash so this is an erect image comparing the size the image is bigger than the object so it is magnified image position of the image is same side of the lens with respect to the object nature is erect and magnified for the exam you may also get a question to distinguish between a real image and a virtual image what is a real image in case of a real image the refracted ray actually meet in case of a virtual image the refracted ray when extended backward meet real image can be cast on a screen virtual image cannot be taken on a screen real image is inverted with respect to the object virtual image is erect with respect to the object so you need to know these three differences for the exam i will also give you the answer for that in your lesson today another question that we get here is a simple microscope a simple microscope 
which is nothing but a convex lens. A simple microscope bracket. I am writing now here for your benefit that a simple microscope or a convex lens. Sorry, simple microscope is constituted of a convex lens. Is used while repairing watches. Why is it used? The parts of the watch is very minute. So, the microscope is adjusted or the convex lens by the watch repair. He adjust it within the focal length. That is, the watch will be kept between O and F1. When he view from his eyes using the convex lens, this image of this object, that is the minute parts of the watch, appears bigger on the same side of the lens and it will be erect and magnified. Therefore, the person you repairing the watch can get the image at a minimum distance of distinct vision that is almost 25 centimeter. He can view it comfortably without any stress on the eye and hence we use the con convex lens or we say a microscope while repairing the watch. We proceed to concave lens. Now we know that concave lens is a diverging lens. That means the incident ray after refraction diverges but appears to originate from a point F1. Therefore, here we consider the object at infinity. That means from infinity we consider the parallel rays. This ray and this ray. They are parallel to each other and parallel to principal axis. The incident ray meet or reach the concave lens and diverges from the principal axis. It is, this is a refracted ray but it diverges from the principal axis. But for us, it appears to start from F1. So for this incident ray also, which is parallel to the principal axis, after refraction, moves away from the principal axis. You view from here, we feel that the ray started from F1. So the refracted ray proceeded, produced backward or gives a perception that it starts from F1. Where are we getting the image? At F1. What kind of an image? It's a point image. And it's on the same side of the lens which is virtual. So if we discuss the position, nature and size of the image, we can say in case of a concave lens, if the object is at infinity, the image form is at F1. It's size wise, it's a point image, so highly diminished and nature will be virtual image. You place the object anywhere between infinity and O. The nature of the image will be same in case of a concave lens. In convex, we kept the image beyond 2F1, then at 2F1, then between 2F1 and F1, and then at F1. Last, what we did today is within the focal length. We got different sizes of images and the nature of the image also changed. In this case, in case of concave lens, you keep the object anywhere between infinity and the optic center. So here I have kept the object beyond 2F1. First ray, which is an incident ray, the ray that is parallel to the principal axis considered here. After refraction from this point, diverges from the principal axis but it appears to start from F1. Second ray, second incident ray starts from the object directed towards the optic center and proceeds further without any deviation. 
these two rays meet over here between f1 and o it's an erect image a small image in comparison to the object straight on the same side of the lens so we say diminished virtual and erect position of the image between f1 and when we discuss the cartesian sign convention followed in case of lens we take the principal axis as x axis and the line through which the optic center passes that is a imaginary line will be considered as the y axis so we know we get four quadrants here measurements taken on a coordinate system from the origin to the right will be positive to the left will be negative below the x axis or the y axis from the origin downward is negative and upward is positive so here instead of the origin we have o which is a optic center to the right f Two and two f two to the left f one and two f one. Always for ray diagrams, it is customary that we keep the object on the left. So, by rule, any distances measured parallel to the principal axis from the optic center to the left is considered. negative distances parallel to the principal axis to the right of the optic center is considered positive so what is object distance the distance of the object from the optic center but it is customary that we keep the object on the left so if we are measuring from the optic center to the left we take that distance as negative so if the object is kept 20 cm away from the optic center while solving numerical examples you consider u as negative the same applies for concave lens the u will be negative because the object will be kept to the left of the optic center or the left of the lens now image distance while drawing the ray diagrams we came across two types of images one is virtual image and the other is real image virtual image is always found on the left of or on the same side of the lens uh, with respect to the object therefore if we get an object image here it will be erect and virtual cannot be taken on a screen now that distance is measured again from the optic center to the left therefore the virtual image distance that is v will be negative concave lens always forms virtual image therefore that will also be negative that is v image distance will be negative in case of convex lens it also form real inverted image but the real image will be on the opposite side of the lens therefore distance measured from the optic center to the image position is considered as v or image distance so from o to 2f2 or beyond 2f2 or anywhere between o and infinity will be considered positive so in case of convex lens the image distance can be negative or positive if the distance is negative that itself shows that the image formed is virtual if that distance is positive then it shows that the image formed is real remember the virtual image will always be erect real image will be inverted now we come to the distances measured perpendicular to the principal axis so above the principal axis will be positive below the principal axis will be negative like how it happens on a y axis 
above the x axis will be positive below the x axis on the is negative so focal length what is focal length in case of a concave lens the incident ray converges after refraction converges at f2 the distance between the optic center and that point of convergence so naturally it will come like this moves down after refraction same thing happen from here converges this will be the both will meet at f2 which is to the right of optic center therefore the focal length of a convex lens is positive in case of a concave lens today we did the lens here we are considering an you know, two parallel rays to the principal axis if this is o and consider this as f it diverges here but we feel that it starts from f1 the same thing over here so this distance is measured to the left of optic center here f will be negative focal length of concave lens is negative focal length of convex lens is positive height of the object will be positive depending upon the erect or inverted if the image is inverted we get it below therefore the height is considered negative in case of virtually erect image the height is considered positive you need to disc, uh, learn all these answer to draw and to explain it's a commonly asked question for the exam draw and discuss cartesian sign conventions for lens